kind of a it kind of a roller coaster type game. You jump up to a twenty one nothing lead, and then all of a sudden it's tied, and then you guys are able to get the momentum back. Did it feel like kind of a roller coaster out there? How, how, how did it feel for you out? Yeah, it did. You? It was you know very sudden, uh, you know, stopping our play towards the middle of the game, but just happy that we were able to figure it out. I'm happy that uh, we were able to execute well enough to, to get the win. What was the difference when it's tied and then, you know, you guys score those two touchdowns? I know the defense gave you a big turnover. You had a big run. What was the difference in your mind in those two drives where you were able to to put it away there? You know, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I think it's, if I had to say something, probably just a sense of urgency, you know, uh, but it shouldn't take that to, to get us going, and we understand that. It's a, you know, an issue that we're going to deal with tomorrow and, and next week, so doesn't happen No, you had two different centers today. You know, I had Rafe starting and even Chase was in there. You probably knew that as practice went on during the week, but did that, did you notice that at all? Was that a difference or did that make any difference at all today? No, they, they both came in prepared. They both did a great job. So, um, yeah, I was aware of it and they, they were aware that they were going to go in and, and play, you know, significant amounts this game. So, you're ready. Brett, when it was tied at 24 there and, you know, they just tied up before you ended up scoring those two touchdowns. I mean, momentum had really shifted. Were you going into that, that drive thinking that we need to score right now? Well, we go into every drive thinking we have to score, you know, and just, you know, towards the end with, you know, with the fact that we were tied and we were ahead, yeah, we just were trying to, to figure out what, what we had to do to get the ball in the end zone and try to diagnose the issues that, that were at hand. So, yeah, we, we just we went into drive mode that we needed to score. How did that? Uh, how did that forty-nine yarder uh, feel? Because I know you've had long runs in this season where uh, you've been stopped at the one or whatever it was, and obviously to make it. What was that feeling like for you? It felt great, and yeah, everybody said, you know, we can't make fun of you anymore. <laughs> we caught this time, so I'm a little disappointed. It was forty-nine. I thought it was a little longer, but that's all right. What did you see on that play? Did you know when you went to the line of scrimmage it was going to be that? Open? Yeah, we we talked about it. We that the defense that they were in. Was, you know, that the play that we were in were, was designed for the exact defense that they were in. So, yeah, it worked out. It's border war week now, Brad, and you've been a part of these. You know what they're about now. What, is, uh, what does this game mean to you, and what does this game mean next week for, for this well, team? it means a lot to, to the team and from the state. We understand the, you know, the significance behind this game, and we understand the, the intensity of this rivalry. So, we're going to have to come out prepared. We're going to have to you know, uh, execute. Do you like this game? See, you've won it. You've won it the, the, both years you've been here. Do you you like this? You like the CSU game? Yeah, absolutely. Any, any game that's you know with this much behind it and all the hype that surrounds this game is yeah, it's, it's really exciting to be a part of. But at the same time, they're they're really good. So and I know they've had success this year. So we have to be ready. Right. When when you guys scored that touchdown to go up 31 and 24, and then you immediately get the ball back because of that uh, interception. How big was that interception to you know it turned into a 14 point lead kind of out of nowhere there? It was huge, you know, for you know, from the standpoint of understanding that, that we needed to get the ball in the end zone. We had great field position, but also when we intercepted it, you know, it was Jesse he towards Achilles. You know, everybody was so excited for him as was I. You know, I was getting the play; I couldn't, I couldn't really run over and you know, congratulate him right, right at that time. But uh, it was huge. You know, I'm really happy that, that he was able to get that. I'm happy for the team. How much more effective is the offense when you know you have a guy like Rick who runs for 100 yards as he's done a couple other times? He did that again today. It's huge, you know. It opens up the passing game, but at the same time, you know, we we felt we could run the ball on them. But I think Sean can run against anybody. He's he's that kind of back. He has that kind of work ethic, and he's just just that type of person who's going to fight for that extra yard. You know, he, I've said it before, he's going to be a special player for a long time.